the conspiracy of the Anunnaki and the secret plan of the sky gods, the unrecorded past to humanity is to a large extent unknown. Uh, I'll remind you to, uh, I'll direct you to the video I just posted concerning gods who descended to earth about two and a half thousand BC. According to ancient texts from Asia, from China, Japan, Korea, and that they were uh, long lived as well. And uh, at the same time, they also landed around uh, ancient Greece and uh, Samaria. So uh, the texts say that they keep on returning. But anyway, going back to this, the conspiracy of Anunnaki and the secret plan of the gods. Unrecorded past history, unknown, even historical references seem to have quite a few gaps when one looks at them more closely. And we even have references of them in the book of Genesis. Now, there are questions that renowned historians and archaeologists can't answer. Many alternative researchers, therefore, resort to various mythologies of peoples around the world to make comparisons. But even this is not always easy or enough. Whenever one looks, one will find references to some gods, sky gods we're talking about, ancient aliens. Every self-respecting ancient civilization had an explanation, a description of its origins. It concerns some gods or spacemen or some who came from the stars and created humans. Something similar exists in the great pantheon of the ancient Greeks, the Maya, the Incas, the ancient Egyptians, ancient Mesopotamia, the inhabitants of the Middle East and elsewhere. From all these reports, those who conquered, quote unquote, the world and gained international prominence are the, quote unquote, the gods referred to as Anunnaki. The Sumerians called them Anu, Anunnaki, and so did the, the Native Americans. The star people, Anunnaki, the same exact word. The Anunnaki seemed to dominate this approach as the main gods of the ancient Sumerians, possibly the Assyrians and the Babylonians. However, descriptions of how many they were and what role they played in and out of the pantheon attributed to them are often contradictory and confusing. The Anunnaki's publicity and popularity peaked when, in the 19th century, archaeologists discovered dozens of ancient clay tablets that, although research and translations continue to this day, author Zachariah Sitchin wrote a book in which he published translations of 14 specific inscriptions in Book of the Twelfth Planet in which he claims that the ancient Sumerians said that the Anunnaki came from a mythical planet called Nibiru. The Anunnaki wandered in space looking for gold because they needed it to repair the atmosphere on their planet. They landed on Earth and created a race of beings named humans to do the mining work for them. Sitchin's book sold millions of copies, and together with the Swiss author Eric von Daniken, and the Russian writer Emanuel Velikovsky, they created the triptych of pseudo-historians who believe that ancient texts are more than mythological stories, as skeptics attribute them to archaeologists and many historians. This is because the three men see in ancient mythologies aliens and not imaginary or mythical gods. Leading scholars and historians reject such reasoning. The paradox is that modern science and collective human knowledge have come a long way and are trying to find and give explanations, for example, for the floods and uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, the templates of Pharaoh, as well as any unexplained findings that are generally considered works of supernatural gods, such as, for example, the Great Pyramid of Egypt. The Anunnaki are therefore denounced as a conspiracy that has badly conquered the world, as there is nothing real of what is imaginatively attributed to them. The same applies to those who believe that the Greek gods were aliens, had spaceships, entered and exited through gates, manipulated space-time. Every deity of an ancient civilization to whom such relations are attributed is considered to be false histories and neo-mythologies without any basis. But along with all this, they seem to reject the plan of the gods. I'm talking about space, go uh, space uh, beings. Now, ancient traditions and mythologies of peoples 
from different regions and continents of our planet refer to these gods, most of whom traveled in space and came from the skies, while others say they came from the sea or even from the interior of the earth. Almost all descriptions refer to many or one god who created human for a reason. In addition, they seem to have had other supernatural powers or technologies that they may have given to humans in order to use them in some constructions. There are many finds of ancient civilizations that show figures that look like astronauts or others that show beings that may never have existed on Earth because they are not known. There are buildings of unexplained origin and unknown purpose that, however, all seems to be in global harmony and agreement and in an incredible coordination, as if someone or something who had full knowledge of the whole planet showed where they should be placed. Also, these quote-unquote gods seem to have taught indirectly about, but clearly, knowledge that was considered sacred, such as writing and reading, mathematics, geometry, but also how to travel to the underworld or to heaven. But in all this, it seems that there was a secret plan. What was the secret or initiation plan of the gods? Why did all this happen? It's very likely that this reason was related to the upgrade of man or simply his installation here on earth. From there, they provided him with all the supplies he needed to survive and live with the exception of the Anunnaki, who allegedly wanted man as a slave, most of the gods were friendly and wanted human freedom. Of course, the ancient text probably mentioned several wars with other creatures, with strange beings that either came out of the earth or came from the sky, from other planets, and somewhere there where the original plan of the gods is modified and some very specific sacred knowledge is encrypted, acquiring a code that only a few knew how to decipher. These codes may have been lost for centuries, mispronounced, misused, or stored. There's no doubt about one thing, all this is speculation, but who has the tangible evidence to support one side or the other, without gaps and questions and without dogmas? And this I've translated for you from a Greek article. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Finally support my Patreon account, the daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.